especially on Godzilla. showed up. If you didn't call Hicks, who did? Maybe your little girlfriend didn't think you could keep Godzilla under control. What's the matter, News Twinkie? Can't handle a little competition? All right, cat fight! Shut, Shut up. up. You and I talk. Now. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. How can I just destroy the scientific fight of the century? insight we could have obtained from that creature is immeasurable. You think I didn't consider that? But I also had to think about how many lives that insight might cost. Go back to scooping up worms. It'll be a lot safer for everyone. You're not arresting me? You're disappointed? Any luck outing or Benedict Arnold? I tapped into Hicks' phone records. The call was untraceable. ta -da! Craven and I are ready for Jamaica. I got my flu shots. <coughs> if there is another creature down there, we'll be on top of it. Fine. Randy and I will join you as soon as possible. in the insurance game. Have you and your French Secret Service pals been shadowing me the whole time? You're a spy. Cool. We did what we felt was necessary. You? You're the one who called in the airstrike. Had you done your job properly, that creature would never have been born. What gives you the right to... And now the moral debate begins. Might we postpone until we have dispensed with the latest mutation? Oh, no. I'm done cleaning up after your government. <laughs> your angst is almost European. But please, join me in looking at, uh, how do you say, the big picture? I can provide you with a state-of-the-art research vessel, as well as weaponry and <clears throat> protection. Don't know about you, Edmund, but I feel safer already. We leave first thing in the morning, and I'm in charge. Analyzing analytical protocols. Analyzing sample now. You want to talk pH levels? We got them low, low, low. So low, they're insane. <laughs> <laughs> we might 
remind me to kill that teenage punk for messing with Nigel's linguistic software. Mm. <clears throat> Do you feel that? That pulsing sensation? Something's in here. It looks like this tar was draining it. But why? This is state of the art. Beggars cannot be choosers, Monsieur Tetopolis. That's Dr. Tetopolis. And I don't recall begging you for anything. Yeah, a few one sheets, some chips, a cooler, and we're good to go. Ahoy, matey! Permission aboard. Nice rack. What's it called? Ah, oh, off limits. How come everybody keeps doing that? You want to tell me why Craven and that red-headed Cupid doll booked a flight to Jamaica? How did you know? I have my sources. They find anything yet? Classified. How many girlfriends you need to do your talking for you, Nikki? Uh... The data suggests that while draining the fish's electrolytes, the tar was also keeping it alive. Why would it do that? <laughs> Any chance of hitting Montego Bay before the turn of the next century? I'm sorry, Captain. The warp drive cannot take any more. <laughs> nice thrust. What's the word? Well, we analyzed the tar. Amino acids reading right off the chart. And the fish we found trapped inside completely drained of electrolytes. Sounds like the tar is part of some kind of pre-digested process? Yeah, we're thinking external stomach. Once the food is digested, the tar is probably reabsorbed into the predator's body. What kind of creature are we dealing with? Elsie! <laughs> pinpoint the little butt, I should be able to retrieve her. Look! They're alive. Subjects remain unconscious, attempting to break down the TARS enzymes with an alkali solution. Tar seems to have kept them alive. The subjects appear desiccated, as if electrolytes and blood sugars have been drained. Squint! Get him off! Get him off! <laughs> it's over. It's over. You're safe now. I can be home, enjoying my wife's pasta basil. No. You dragged me down here to hunt monsters. Credit card records don't lie, animal. Craven and Chapman flew down here and rented a boat in this village. They found something big. I can smell it. That tar was eating us? Paradoxically, while also keeping you alive. And the whole time it was draining away the nutrients from your blood. <laughs> Is 
seen before, only speculated upon. They must be deep water dwellers. Then what brought them to the surface? I'm guessing somebody lean, mean, and oh so green. No, no, something is not right. These squids aren't charred like the others. Something siphoned out all their vital fluids. Meaning Godzilla didn't do this? They look like they've been drained. Just like the fish we found in a tar. Radiation? These squids may not be the predators we thought they were. They may be part of a larger food chain, processing food for some other natural enemy. Let me get this straight. These mutant squid things use this tar gun to break down their food, and now something else is sucking them dry? Any theories, Dr. Jatopoulos? Audrey, what are you doing here? My job. <laughs> Miss me? Can you say abandonment issues? Ugh. You must leave. It is too dangerous. More dangerous than a cab ride through Godzilla's mouth? Been there, done that. There is no telling what sort of predator is feeding off these squid.
has to find a suitable substitute. Highway Tower? Let's go, let's go, move! We rent on your credit card. itself for us, Major. Was an Emmy! Not that I'm bitter. 
I'm just glad it's over. Over? Just be thankful that whatever we have to face in the future, we won't be facing it alone. 